now we are discussing about economic terms. In the economic terms, so we can uh, have a, we can one term is there that is bull market. Especially this is in uh, stock trading. In uh, in uh, India itself, it is having six thousand scripts are there. That means um, public issue public issue companies are there, those are 6000 approximate that is, it may be increased or decreased for the time being, but those shares, so you should have all these 6000, suppose if you want to be in bull market or bear market, you should have the complete understanding of all these 6000 scripts, so what are going up and what are going down, which, which will give the long term benefit and all these things you should know pretty well. So, you should always have a bifurcation regarding all these 6000 scripts, especially if you want to do stock trading relating to Indian uh, shares. And in, in so, bull market is, uh, in the economic terms, bull market is in contrast to the term beer market, a bull market represents a much more positive outlook on a market's current performance, indicating that uh, stock prices have either increased or expected to rise soon. Generally, the term is used to refer to a stock market, but it can also be applied to anything that is traded, including bonds, currencies and real estate. As, as with a beer market, the term is typically used to describe extended periods of time where securities are rising mostly months or even years. This is because the prices of securities will often rise and fall during a trading period, sometimes so multiple times a day. So, for a period of positive price increase to be recognized, it needs to be sustained over a considerable period of time. So, that is the information regarding uh, bull market. Bull market means it is growing uh, values of the um, benefits of the show. Of benefits of the market, uh, share market in share market trading. So, be careful regarding your bull market also. So, always bull will not be there. Bull means it is going in front. It will not be, always it is not possible. So, only for uh, cyclonic, uh, um, so nature, and na natural calamities will be there, political uh, disturbances will be there. In all these cases also, shares values will be reduced, but those are Traditionally, it is uh, growing uh, shares only, but uh, at the time of uh, COVID and at the time of uh, natural calamities and at the times of wars to other countries also, if war, just like uh, in Russia, Ukraine war is there, likewise uh, that effect also will be, uh, will be affected to us because the cost of the prices and petrol and gases will be increased. So, that also we should be careful regarding that uh, war. So, in the bull market is uh, useful to everyone, but uh, we should be consider, consider uh, especially in uh, natural calamities and political uh, disturbances and uh, as well as uh, wars, uh, countries uh, wars uh, just like Russia, Ukraine war. Likewise, uh, certain wars also, it may be international, but uh, it, you may not have in the war and uh, your country is not, may not be in the war, but uh, other countries effect also will be done as because uh, the entire world is interdependent. One country gas will supply, one country, one country gas will produce so much, so we can get it. Another country will produce petrol, so we can get it. And uh, you know, other country will produce uh, diesel. Likewise, uh, so many, so human being is uh, interdependent. He is uh, without uh, his own, he cannot produce anything and he cannot enjoy anything. So, uh, all the, likewise, uh, country is also interdependent to almost all countries are safe only you will be safe. So, global peace is there only you will be prosperous. So, that is we should not forget. We should also um, pray to the Lord um, that uh, in the, in the whole country, whole world should be peaceful uh, with peace and harmony. Then only we will be peaceful. Wishing you all the best.